to stay in positive and test in negative. She's probably partied with some US 99 DJs in the past. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, you turn that into Mike's Hard Lemonade. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, Chris. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Dude, this is so fun. I'm so excited about this because it's it's very, um, I don't know, <laughs> few and far between. You find uh, you go from Twitter to, to Netflix like you have. And it's nice that you're right from right here in uh, the Chicagoland area, the uh, in St. Charles High School. You want to shout out anybody that told you you couldn't do it? or? <laughs> yeah, I should, right? <laughs> the, I mean, as soon as I saw it pop up, I was like, oh, this is this is going to be good because it's hard to explain Chicago to people that aren't from here. And I think from what it looks like, you do a good job of keeping it general enough, but also the point where it feels like we still kind of own it. Does that make sense? <laughs> That was yes, it does. That was the the balancing act that we had to strike throughout the whole you know writing process was was yeah making it. Uh, we wanted it to be a love letter to Chicago and have a lot of Chicago specifics, but also have it be universal enough for anybody to enjoy it. So the good thing is, I think no matter where you live, you you know a woman like this. You have a party aunt in your life, no matter where you're from. Yeah, literally the last concert I went to saw a uh, one of the girls there, her mom tailgating in the back of her Nissan Murano with chips and salsa and the beer because they didn't want to buy the food and beer on the inside. I was like, this is it. This is exactly what this is made of. But tell me how the Chicago party and just started from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's based on a couple of my actual party ants who, uh, who I observed my entire childhood, <laughs> you know, would, uh, say, uh, inappropriate things at the Thanksgiving table, but would always make it a, a lot more fun, you know? Yeah. Um, and and so you just sat down and started start tweeting as you think they would do it. Yeah. So I, st- yes. So I, so I moved to LA in 2014 after being in Chicago for many years and, you know, performing at second city and stuff and um, started this just for fun. And I, yeah, I just started tweeting as if I were a Chicago party aunt. And, uh, j- you know, just put everything through her POV. And um, it was amazing how easy it was to write jokes when you just filter it through. How would how would this woman think about things in the world? And uh, and then it started to gain popularity. And yeah, now it's going to uh, stream all over the world. <laughs> yeah, some of it can be pretty brash, too. And as a man speaking as a woman, have you gotten any backlash or any conversation around that? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, Diane's whole thing is she's partied with everybody and she's slept with a lot of uh, Chicago celebrities. You know, some of them are, are B-list or C-list celebrities, but... Uh, right. <laughs> Where are you on that? Are you... Uh, what letter are you at right now, do you, do you feel like? Oh, I'm, well, in LA, I'm probably a C-lister, but in Chicago, I might be a B-lister. Yeah, B-plus so, even, yeah. Yeah. After Friday. Yeah. I mean, I was just back in town a couple of weeks ago. I got to throw out the first pitch at Wrigley. So that was cool. Very cool. Oh, have I gotten backlash? A little, not much, actually. I mean, it's all in good fun. I think if anybody sure. takes it too seriously, they need to chill out a little bit, you know. And um, Diane's just all about having a good time. She's sex positive and, uh, you know, she's having fun. I do enjoy that you um, not only have references of things that are in Chicago, but also people, the Tom Skilling references I, is just so Chicago and I, it exposes it to the world too. the Ditka mustache. Cause you play the character, right? Well, Diane's ex-husband, right? Is that who you play yes, on the show? Uh, Kurt. Yes. And you specifically made him look like Ditka. Is that what's going on? Oh yeah. There's some, there's some uh, inspiration there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And did you work at Ditka's restaurant? Did I read that? I did. I, I worked right out of college. I worked at, I lived right behind Murphy's Bleachers in Wrigleyville for uh, five years and worked at Mike Dick's restaurant for five years. And it was a revolving door of Chicago party at mm. that place. You, so all eight episodes drop on Friday, right? We have 16 made and the first eight come out on Friday. Yeah. Is there an episode in there that you definitely cannot wait for people to see? You're like, uh, oh, this this joke or this this reference or this scenario is going to get talked about. 
Uh, so I think we did a great job with the first episode, with the pilot episode. I think like, and it, uh, pilot episodes are hard because you have to set up the whole world. You've got to introduce all the characters and you have to make it funny. Um, I think we did a great job with the first episode. And then there's, a, <laughs> there's another episode called the Beefy Awards. And the Beefy Awards are uh, Chicago's version of like, you know, like LA has the Oscars and uh, New York has, you know, the Tony Awards. And then, <laughs> and then Chicago has the Beefy Awards. And uh, just goes to all Portillo's uh, <laughs> employees. Yes, well, uh, Ditka, Ditka makes a cameo in that in that episode. So, oh wow, yeah, that's tell, one of my favorites for sure. Tell me about uh, how did RuPaul get involved in this? How did that all come? Yes, yeah, so um, Diane works at a salon called Shy City Sports Cuts and Clips, and uh, she's been working there for many years. But then in the pilot episode, it gets bought out by a New York company called Burrow, you know, named after like the New York Burrows, right? And um, so she gets a new manager that comes in. And so RuPaul plays her manager, Gideon. And when we were casting that part, we were thinking, who's like, who's uh, a great New Yorker who would be really funny for this part? And we thought of RuPaul, but we're like, there's no way RuPaul will ever do this. And we reached out and his people were like, yeah, he'll do it. And so yeah, now, now I'm hanging out with RuPaul all the time when they approached you was it netflix that approached you were you shopping it how did that we, were shopping did... it. we took it okay. to like six different places and actually four of the places really like wanted it and were interested and then cool. netflix kind of like won out yeah sure yeah whoever has the most money right, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. that's that's what, how involved uh, were you able to be involved in the process of creating the other because did you have the other characters created already or is this something that kind of happened as uh netflix got involved I would tweet a lot about her husband, Kurt, you know, on, on the Twitter. And I would, I would always do stuff about her son or her sons or family. Right. Um, but no, other than that, we had to like, uh, in the writer's room, like flush out the whole rest of the world. So, but I was, you know, involved every single day, uh, along with yeah. the other writers and producers. Yeah. Let's do this. I want you to put yourself into the, uh, Diane character mindset and I, let's do a little Chicago this or that from the great. perspective of the Chicago party ant. Okay. Good, great. All right, here we go. We'll start, we'll start simple. Chicago party ant dip, deep dish or thin crust. Yeah, I mean, you gotta go deep dish, but, but she's also a tavern style girl, you know? So I think you gotta go deep dish just cause it's so Chicago, but, um, She's sneaking some tavern style on the side as well. She got some in her purse. <laughs> All right. Is she Cubs or Sox? See, this she is, she's Cubs, but Bill. she was born and raised on the South side and then now lives in Wrigleyville. So, but I think she's adopted Cubs because it's such a party up there. That is so relatable of seeing a Sox fan in the Cubs atmosphere of those yeah. people and the clash of those personalities is yeah. If you live in Chicago, you get that. Okay. Would Chicago party ant kiss Duncan Keith without his teeth or lick the bean? <laughs> oh, she's got to go Keith. I mean, she probably has licked the bean in the past, but she's got to go Keith. I mean, he's a friggin' stuff. Would she rather be banned from the state of Wisconsin or from the state of Michigan? Oh, baby. Uh, I'd say Wisconsin. Uh, she also hates Indiana, so that would be up there as well. Okay. Yeah. Would she? Would Diane rather um, drink the Chicago River water or eat street pizza? <laughs> uh, she's probably fallen in the river on a couple St. Patrick's days and drank that water already, so she'd probably go river. Okay, and she survived. That's impressive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Little right. lying isn't going to kill you. <laughs> Two more. Okay. Would she rather sit through her friend's entire beginner level improv show at Second City <laughs> or be mocked at the Wiener Circle for two straight hours? Oh, she'd rather be at the Wiener Circle, baby. She's there. <laughs> she's there already. Uh, and I feel like there's nothing she would hate more than sitting through a bad improv show. <laughs> the commentary would be gold. Okay. Last one. Chicago party ant. She is hooking up with Sammy Sosa or the big hurt Frank Thomas. Oh, wow. 
I mean, I think that uh, when when Sammy was hitting all those dingers on steroids, those were probably some of her best days. So I think she's going so so. If you ever want to do an episode where she takes over a radio station, you guys are available. I'm right. Re- we're ready to go. Yes, she's probably partied with some US 99 DJs in the past. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure she has, or some of the artists that have come through. Right. For sure. All right. All right. She'll end up on a tour bus somewhere and it'll be, it'll be a great story to tell. All right, Chris, man, I appreciate you taking, a, taking some time and, and congratulations. dude. So cool. Thanks Love dude. It. I hope, I hope you and your listeners enjoy it. Yeah. And to all the teachers that said you wouldn't make it look at me now in your face. <laughs> yeah.